Okay, I'm ready to throw these away. I've been on them for four weeks. Wrists are super sore. So I just ordered a, but it's called Freedom Mic. And it's supposed to allow hands-free crutches. So this is my unboxing of it. Right. Of course I need a measuring tape. It says, while well, wearing the same footwear, Converse doesn't work, not wearing heels anytime soon, sit with your foot on the floor and measure from the floor to the top of the knee. So, 21 and a half inches. Slide the base inside both sides of the rail at the same time. Just pull them out. Yeah. Are on the place. Doesn't slide super smoothly. Sliding's horrible, sorry. Okay, it's not sliding. Hmm. That's not good if your wrists hurt. Just saying. Just slide. Am I missing something here? Shouldn't matter, right? Okay, that looks. I guess she just push these back in and hopefully they lock. That would be super easy. Now what? Okay. Now where is this supposed to go? I think I'm doing something else. Oh! Okay, here we go for a little walk. Maybe not the best idea holding the camera. I can carry a class with this thing. Okay, that might sound silly, but when you're on crutches, you can't carry anything. mobility on level surfaces. Um, stairs are fine if there's a railing. If there's no railing, it's pretty scary. Um, but I've been able to clean the kitchen. My kitchen's clean. I've been able to do laundry. I made some sun tea. So I'm liking it. I don't know how about venturing out into the wild. Quinn has a soccer game in a little bit, so let's see if I can use it there. Okay. So here's a rundown on putting this thing on. Um, the videos for Freedom Mobility or Forward Mobility show you just turn it upside down, just kind of stick your leg through. And then I've been finding that if you put it not all the way up to your crotch, because that would be awkward, um, part way up your hat, mainly up on your thigh, pretty tight, and then just go ahead and tighten down all the straps. So now that I've done it several times, it's getting a lot easier. And then for me, I don't really want this, but I'm not taking it off. And honestly, this part, um, this pad, I, I don't like it either. I know it's there to keep your leg from swinging forward, but for whatever reason, I have a very sensitive shin. I, I think I've done a lot of damage to it over the years, not making. But, um, I'm going to probably make some adjustments with that one. Anyway, you just tighten it so um, you can sit back in it, like a balance on it almost, or actually you should be able to balance. And then those straps are just to kind of keep your leg from moving around. Anyway, it's it's a lot, but so are crutches. Okay. All right, so that is my review of the Freedom Leg. It's, uh, it's good. It's not great, but it's good. But then again, being non-weight bearing sucks. So what are you gonna do, right? 
it's a good alternative. It's a good way to give yourself, your body a break. So overall though, it's pretty good. It's just if you're going up and down uneven surfaces or if you're going downstairs and there's not a hand railing, uh, that's pretty darn scary. And uh, I, I'm not ready to do that. I don't know if anyone is comfortable doing that. Anyway, so that's my review. I hope you guys found this helpful. And I uh, hope whoever is watching this, you're going to heal really fast. Okay, take care. Thanks. <laughs>